Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the sculpting in your character creator 3.4 and save it as a morph, which all this sculpting you can apply in any other CC3 avatar without involving any other software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, in your character creator 3, you can just go to the scenes, make sure that you just choose your avatar. Wait, you choose your avatar only. And then click the modify here. Click modify and click here. Click the edit mesh. At this moment, click the sculpt. And always remember here, you have to press Q and then once you press Q, you can start to sculpt it. First, you, you adjust the, the intensity. If high intensity, with certain radius, you increase the radius. High intensity, you can just sculpt it. You can see now it have a bulge at here. And then, if if you choose this, this is to pull it, pull it down into the body. And then, of course, if you want to increase the muscle, you have to. Click here and press press Q. You can increase, you can sculpt the muscle if you want. This is without involving any of the morph. Let's say now if, if you increase the intensity, then the effect will be very weak. So now I increase the intensity. I want to push a hole at here. It is okay. I want to push a hole. It decrease the radius to certain size. I pull it down. You can see now I have a hole at here. All right, it is really easy to handle. Once you're done already, you click again the edit mesh. Now you can see your avatar already have certain sculpt sculpture that you already done. All right. So of course you click here, click the morph. You can just check your recently use. You can just reset it. Once you reset it. At this moment, you can just save it as another morph. This is the CC3 base. All right, once you already have, you can just create create a head and body morph slider. This is the morph slider that you are going to create. Just click here, head and body, the morph name. I can just name it as host. All right, next. It is under the body, and I name it as whole. Now I click OK. It will save as a slider, a morph slider. Later we are going to check it. Now it is creating a, a slider, and it is saving. All right, now you have you already have apply. You can see it is at here. Then the head also have another one. That is the hole. So if you check again, check the recently used, you can just just pull it. This is the hole. All right. What about if you want to apply in any other avatar? I can just create a new a new file without saving it. I don't want to save this. This is just a demo. So now I I just start a new file, a new a new project, and just wait for a while. Now it is loading. All right, now this is a, a new avatar. It can, it can be any other avatar. Just now the body, there's a whole folder. It's at here. The whole body, you can just drag it. You can see now, it automatic will apply the morph that I already created just now because of my sculpting. And then the head, it is under the head, this whole folder. So you can see now I apply a hole at there. It is really easy to apply. And that's all for today about how to perform the sculpting in Character Creator 3.4, how to sculpt your avatar and save it as a morph. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, 
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.